How many of you know what chat GBT is? Okay. So well, I'll, not very many. So I'll tell you what chat GPT is because you need to know this. This is a big deal. This AI system, it's a general language processing model, was released about a week and a half ago. And uh, I, I went and interacted with it. You can, it's an AI system, artificial intelligence system. It basically is trained on, well, a massive corpus of text. So it's derived its models of the world from the analysis of human speech, essentially. It, it isn't using real-world data. And ChatGPT analyzes a very large corpus of text, and that corpus is growing all the time. It's already sophisticated enough. I went on to it last week, and I said, OK, write me an essay that's a 13th rule for beyond order, written in a style that combines the King James Bible with the Tao Te Ching. That's pretty difficult to pull off, you know? intersection of all three that's impossible well it wrote it in about three seconds four pages long and i would be able to tell that i didn't write it and that's pretty impressive the fact that it could do that grammatically perfectly impressive philosophically write an essay on the intersection between taoist version of ethical morality and ethics that are outlined in the sermon on the mount which it just nailed got that dead right and it took it about three seconds a uh, computer engineer who purported to work for Tesla, he asked GPT, chat GPT, he said, look, I work for Elon Musk, but I haven't been doing much for the last week, so I need you to write me 10 bullet points about what I probably would have done as an engineer at Twitter. What 10 things did I do last week that were productive and valuable? And if you don't mind, write me the accompanying computer code that goes with each project. I did that too, three seconds, and the computer code works. So then a university professor did this. He thought, any student will be able to write any essay on any topic with chat GPT. Someone gave it an SAT, by the way, and it scored about as well as the average student in a well-functioning public university. So that's how smart it is, basically an IQ test. He said, write me an essay, gave it a topic, wrote the essay. He said, now grade it. So it provided a complete comprehensive analysis of its own essay with grade. Write the screenplay and describe the characters for the next $900 million Hollywood blockbuster. Plot, characterizations, then someone else took the descriptions of the actors and said generate computer, photorealistic computer images for each actor. All the AI systems could do that. This is going to happen this year, so get ready. Now we have an AI model that can extract a model of the world from the entire corpus of language. It's smarter than you. And it's going to be a hell of a lot smarter than you in two years. But it's not that smart yet because humanity's professor at the moment. It doesn't test its linguistic knowledge against the real world. That's what a scientist does, right? You come up with a theory that's linguistically predicated and then you throw it against the world and see if it sticks. The world tells you whether or not your linguistic construction is valid. New AI systems will be able to extract out patterns from the world itself, from images and so forth, and then be able to test their linguistic constructions against the world, and so they'll practice just like scientists. And the most advanced models are going to use text and image and action as well. And all of that's going to come down the pipes within the next year. So hang on to your hats, gentlemen, because my friend Jonathan Pajot say, giants are going to walk the earth once more, and we're going to live through that, maybe.